In Britain, we have six species of deer. The characteristics of each species makes them well suited to the habitats in Britain and they make a valuable contribution to biodiversity. However, the deer are overpopulated. They increase fast. Are we ever going to find a solution that truly works? Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or hit that like button if you enjoy the video. England's deer population continues to threaten the survival of vegetation that so many other species depend on for survival. More uniform habitats results in reduced niches for other species. Deer are a core part of ecosystems as their role of seed disperses. It's not their presence that's an issue, it's their oversized populations. In England, we're currently experiencing our largest wild herd for 1,000 years. The population is around 2 million strong. Normally, the population rises around 30% each year, which is then reduced back down by the culling process. So with the pandemic, there's been an increase in even more deer, as hunters and government programs have been unable to manage those populations. The Royal Society of Prevention for Cruelty to Animals are saying that the population is causing over 74,000 traffic accidents a year, and that they're also inflicting heavy damage to woodland, to marshes and crops. In response to the climate crisis, the government wants to plant more trees. An overpopulation of deer causes lots of damage to these saplings because they eat them. So what do we do about the situation? Some are suggesting a mass cull. This would ultimately require eliminating up to a million deer. And this would be through the combined efforts of landowners, licensed shooters, and public bodies like Forestry England. But will Britain, which prides itself as a nation of animal lovers, be okay with this. It has the potential to cause massive upset in a very well-developed animal rights movement. Predators exert direct and indirect impacts on ecosystems. Other niches are also expanded by their presence. And leftover carcasses they provide nourishment for the ground and the environment around them and also for scavengers. Usually, if you find predators in an environment and all other animal populations are in check, you'll find thriving nature. In Britain, humans have replaced the natural role of the apex predator when it comes to managing deer populations. Our lack of intervention during the pandemic has magnified this unnatural approach and the absence of predators. So what's it going to take for us to get used to these animals again, to predators? to animals that are unfamiliar to us. We've proved time and time again that actually humans, we can't handle deer populations or animal populations in general, not like a predator can, or should I say like nature can. Some wildlife experts say that actually killing them just causes the population to rebound and results in a spike in the food supply, which only accelerates the breeding of survivors. Animals are suffering. So many deer are going to die. It's an ethical dilemma. Someone once said to me, are you an advocate for the individual or for the species? And it really did get me thinking. Because ultimately, if you don't intervene, that herd will suffer short term and long term and have a catastrophic impact on the environment and all of the species within that environment. It's another domino effect. It's our fault they're overpopulated. Prevention is surely better than cure. Predators would prevent the problem and science suggests that nature would thrive. So what animals are we willing to share the land with? 
Thanks for watching and please do comment below if you've got something to say or like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.